What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Flaw700, half of the podcast, brothers. But let's get into it without any further delay. Who would be the greatest if Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant did not exist? I took a little poll on Twitter just to see what the people um, thought who would be the best. And some of the answers um, are some that I expected and some not. So let's get into it. Um, you got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with a lot of votes. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar even got a Shaq in there. Shaquille O'Neal. So, so I'm not going to say no names. I'm looking at it right now on my Instagram. But a guy just said Shaq would be the greatest if Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron didn't exist. I disagree. Highly. So we got some Shaq. We got more Kareem. We got Magic Johnson. Would Magic Johnson be the greatest if Jordan... Kobe and LeBron did not did not exist uh, for what he did for Los Angeles. Finally beating Boston, five titles, uh, five finals in nine years, I think. So Magic was just a winner. Just college championships in college. Magic was a winner. I, Magic was a winner. So we, you know, let's let's hold on to that. One. Let's hold on to Magic. Who we got? More Kareem, more Magic. Bill Russell. What to Bill Russell, Bill Russell. I'm trying to I don't know, man. With the level of competition, you ever watch the Bill Russell clip? And this is no disrespect to the OG. None at all. Not at all. But you ever looked at a Bill Russell clip and just was like, bro, what the shit is this? Like it's just him, eight feet tall, four foot white people trying to jump up and get the ball out of his hands. Of course he's going to average thirty rebounds a game. Um, him and Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain, and then they and they played against each other, and it was highly competitive. But when they weren't playing against each other, it was like, bro, I'm not watching this, man. Like, shout out to y'all on y'all stats, but I don't know if y'all doing that in the '80s, the '90s. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that was that era, and they dominated that era. So we we do got some Wilt Chamberlains, Mr. 100 um, point game. Um, you know, so. So we got Bill Russell, Kareem, Wilt, Magic, and Shaq. I'm going to take Shaq out. I don't know why Shaq was even brought up. Shaq is not. I respect your opinion, but we're not going to go with Shaq. I'm going to go with Kareem. I'm going to go with Kareem. Kareem would be the GOAT if Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron did not exist. I got the stats right here. Ah, uh, listen, I ain't got them memorized up in my head. Sorry, I do know off the top without looking at my notes that Kareem won the championship about six times. So he's a six-time world champion, right? Um, six-time MVP, right? We talking about regular season. Um, two-time scoring champ. He did it early though, 71, 72. So. I can see how people can forget about, you know, what he did um, in the early um, ladder of his career. Um, he was a rebound leader, four-time block leader. Um, he led the league in uh, field goal percentage, 19-time All-Star, 19-time All-Star. I'm trying to find where the camera is. I keep looking over here, but the camera's right there. The camera's right there. It's right there somewhere. My bad, people. Don't worry about that. 19-time All-Star. Two-time NBA Finals MVP. 15-time first-team NBA. 11-time All-Defensive Selection. NBA All-Rookie First Team. Rookie of the Year. Six-time most six time uh, most valuable player for sports news. So I guess that's different. So not only was he the MVP of the league, but he was six-time sports news most valuable player. <clears throat> Sports Illustrated Man of the Year, one of the 50 greatest players of all times, selected to the 1990 selected in 1996 as a member of one of the top 10 teams in NBA history, the 1986-1987 Los Angeles Lakers. And we're not even going to get into the college accolades, but I guess what we could say is big men don't get that spot because we're always talking about Kobe, LeBron, and Jordan with LeBron being the forward, but he plays point forward. He's like a point guard forward type of dude. 
Um, so can the big man get the spot? I want to hear from you. I want you to write in my comments. Can a big man be the greatest of all time? Why don't we give big men that, that accolade? Why is it always a guard who's the greatest of all time? Because let's face it, as exciting as Kobe Bryant is, you would rather have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's career. Right? Look at all the accolades I just, I just spit off to you. Kobe Bryant won the final. Kobe Bryant's the two-time finals MVP, but MVP only once in the regular season. Now, yes, he might have been robbed once or twice, but that still would have been, what, two or three? Uh, Jordan, six-time world champion, six-time finals MVP, five-time MVP of the regular season, I think. I think he only won five times, which means only. He, he won five times. Defensive player of the year. Um, Jordan, Jordan is stacked. It's, all, it's, it's going to be between Jordan and Kareem when it comes to the stats. But I think Jordan's impact on the game elevates him over Kareem. And I think that that's why Jordan gets that greatest of all time because it's just the impact. Nobody's talking about Kareem except for me right now. Nobody's talking about Kareem. Like, what did Kareem do for the game? Um, a lot. But if you actually ask some of the kids today... They can't tell you nothing about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I guess that was just a personality thing. But I want to hear from y'all, man. I got Kareem as the GOAT if LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan didn't exist. Who do you have?